The final climate report card is in for 2023, and as a planet, we are getting a failing grade. The European Union's climate monitor says that last year was, no surprise, the hottest in recorded history, and that is by a large margin. The planet's rising temperatures have also led to more billion-dollar disasters here in the U.S. than we have ever seen. NBC News national climate reporter Chase Kane joins us now with the latest. So, Chase, we just got some new data from the NOAA. That stands for National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. What have we learned from it? What, what should we know? Yeah, as you mentioned, more major disasters, 28 last year. That shatters the previous record of 22 from 2020. Also found out that December was the hottest December we've ever had. So the U.S. is a whole a little bit cooler. But the big takeaway here is what's happening to the planet. So when you look at some of these graphs, uh, the thing to pay attention to is not just that last year was the hottest year. It's also the margin. That top line, that dark orange line, shows 2023. So not just setting records, setting records by records. And then if we zoom out to the last 2,000 years or so, you see that, like, yes, there are natural variations in, in the planet's climate. It goes up and down a bit. But over the last 150 years, we've had this extraordinary warming of nearly 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's nearly 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, you see that sharp rise there since the Industrial Revolution. So, uh, you know, the scientists say this is clear. This is being driven by burning fossil fuels, oil, coal, and that's gas. That's fascinating. That's yeah. a fascinating graph. That's that's like since the beginning of time, time. right? <laughs> yeah. a long time. Um, so what are the experts saying? Is the heating of the planet reversible, I think, is what everybody is wondering. Yeah, there, I mean, there is good news, but we have to do two things at once. We have to, yes, bring down emissions of fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas. We've got to zero that out. At the same time, we have to help our communities adapt because there are places all across America, all around the world, which are dealing with sea level rise, these extreme rainfall and flooding events, uh, extreme heat headed into the summer. And actually, that's one last thing to mention here is that because we're in the second year of an El Nino, a lot of climate scientists were saying, yeah, last year was hot. We set a record. 2024, they're thinking, is going to be even hotter, including here in the U.S., very likely the hottest summer we will have ever felt. And of course, there are so many co um, complications and consequences to this. I know the United Nations has set sustainable development goals, some specifically around climate. How are we doing with those? Uh, you know, we're, we're not we're not doing great. We are making progress. We are, you know, adding solar and wind power by record margins. We are we are headed in the right direction. We just have to be moving a lot faster and also considering that this is a, a social justice issue, that communities of color, disadvantaged communities are feeling this so much more uh, here in the U.S. and around the world. So we are doing well, but we've got to do better and do it faster. Yeah, often those emitting the least amount of these fuels mm -hmm. are feeling the impact the most, too. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Chase Kane, I'm glad you're following this. Thank you so much. Of course. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.